नमस्कार वेलकम टू द जॉय ऑफ लर्निंग रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर मेडिकल डिवाइस इंक्लूडिंग आई वी टी दैट इज इन विट्रो डायग्नोस्टिक्स इन इंडिया वर्जन टू यू माइट बी वंडरिंग वाई वर्जन टू एक्चुअली द वर्जन वन वॉज लॉन्च इन अर्ली टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन बाई आस एज रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर मेडिकल डिवाइस एंड आई वी टीज इन विट्रो डायग्नोस्टिक किट्स इन इंडिया we had around 657 candidates enrolled for this course because this course has an optional examination 100 took this examination of which no one scored gold that's 19 above but 16 secured silver 40 allied which is 60 to 74% 40 completed successfully which is 40 to 59% marks and only 4 were unsuccessful candidates so the feedback that we received from the version 1 of this course had been instrumental to us in designing the version 2 so thank you so much all the viewers and learners and candidates who had undergone this version 1 of our course and have shared with their us all the valuable comments feedbacks because those were our building blocks Uh, when we designed this new course or version 2 so this time we are launching two such online courses one is the on regulatory uh, requirements for clinical trials we call it current regulatory requirements for conducting clinical trials in india using ind that is investigational new drug and new drug version 2 this one is on medical devices and ivd we call it as regulatory requirements for medical devices including in vitro diagnostics in india the version 2 so uh, as you know uh, that medical devices and in, vit- in vitro diagnostics are undergoing uh, a sea change uh, in re- recent uh, times every day you come to know about something happening uh, about uh, this uh, this medical device getting notified that getting listed there are a lot of activities happening in the area of medical devices so this course will be in our radar to continually upgrade and update once we hear from you through your feedback as well as our team which will remain vigilant to work on it so this course was developed earlier version also and this dev- course also is developed by cdsa clinical development services agency which is an extra mural unit of translational health science and technology institute thsti is an autonomous institute under department of biotechnology dbt under ministry of science and technology government of india the entire course was reviewed for its quality and content and recorded by present regulators as well as the former regulators this makes you hear from house's mouth so cdso which is our india's drug regulator or nra national regulatory authority is central drugs standard control organization which is under the ministry of health and family welfare government of india so earlier course which was version 1 had 10 lectures over a period of 4 weeks this course is also about 4 weeks with 12 lectures so what we did here was we included from the feedback four different lectures one was on the biocompatibility the another was on clinical investigation plan the third was on risk management and the fourth was on international practices so this four ch- four areas were very important and interesting that we addressed in this version 2 so the week 1 that every week that we have four week we have week 1 every week we have around three lectures so week 1 we begin with the introduction where we speak about uh, the medical devices as well as uh, in vitro diagnostics a uh, overview we also come and uh, we also come down and discuss about the types of various devices including the combination devices we speak about drugs we speak about drug versus device drug versus device versus ivds 
the second lecture which is MDR 2017 that is Medical Device Rules 2017 is a pretty interesting lecture. It's, this lecture deals with the entire rules and it gives an implication on of this rules on the medical devices. The third lecture is an offshoot of the earlier lectures where we speak about the classification of medical devices. This time we have added labeling also which was missed out in our version 1. The week 2 starts with the standards of medical device, quality assurance and testing. The lecture 5 is a new lecture. It, it, was, um, it was not there in the version 1. And here we were speaking about all the biocompatibility studies that are conducted on medical devices. Lecture 6 is pretty interesting to us because we found many people have felt the need for having a separate lecture on clinical investigation because the clinical investigation of medical device is not same as that of clinical investigation of drugs. This lecture addresses it. The week 3 begins with the quality assurance and the QMS, quality assurance management system. The lecture 8 is pretty interesting for the new manufacturers because it speaks about how to obtain license to manufacture a medical device in India. The lecture 9 is a new lecture. It talks about the risk management. It gives a basic overview about what are the risk management system that should be followed in medical devices. So it very briefly addresses ISO 14971. Week 4, which is the last week, which talks about a pretty interesting lecture called inspection. It talks about the inspection of medical devices as well as the IVD establishments, which will give you an insight of all the perspectives or all the areas which are covered under the gamut of inspection. Lecture 11 is all for the people who would like to export from India or would like to import. So it's a pretty interesting area. It talks about the import and export of medical devices as well as IVDs in India. The last lecture, lecture 12, talks about the medical device regulations and the international practices that are followed. This is absolutely a new lecture. So the four new lectures adds a new dimension to this course, which is the version two. Now who should take this course or who are our target learners? We feel the people who are working in this area will benefit from this course, especially the people who are working in medical device industry, IVD industry, in vitro diagnostics, Various innovators and startups that we meet who are involved in either medical devices or IVDs in India, the people who are working in regulatory affairs, the uh, people who are working uh, who are working in the capacity of uh, ethics committee members in human ethics uh, committees, where they review protocols or proposals which are based on either medical devices or uh, in vitro diagnostics, also. Uh, clinical trial or clinical trial or clinical research team members would benefit from this course. To us, it is beneficial for any person who feel um, that this course adds value to the body of knowledge. So any person interested to acquire knowledge in this domain and area are invited to attend this course. What are the learning objectives and the possible outcome that we feel, that we expect you to? achieve at the end of this course. So after the four weeks, we feel that all the learners who have taken up this four week course involving 12 lectures will have a basic idea about what is the medical device rules 2017 speaking, what is uh, in vitro diagnostics, what is medical device, uh, who are different types, the combination device, the drugs device uh, versus uh, the IVDs. They will also know about the standards of medical device and testing, all the person who should, or the personnel who should be involved in that, what are the different quality assurance measures, what are the different QMS which are there existing in medical devices. They will also know how to obtain a manufacturing license, how to, what are the things they will face during inspection, how they should, uh, what are the fees they should be paying, what are the import and export procedures, what are the various international uh, practices which have been followed in case they would like to export their product. This course also will address the four new areas which are biocompatibility uh, studies in the medical devices, the clinical investigation uh, areas which is quite different from that of drugs, also about the risk management, 
So pretty, uh, oh, pretty brief overview of uh, the entire medical devices might be captured from this course. So this course is a extensive effort by a very big team and uh, which is uh, the core team is actually a very very small team. So I acknowledge all the credit to the people who have made this course possible. So my first uh, would be to the people who are very when we tell the uh, course as regulatory requirements I think so the regulator desire deserves um, applause without their course support and uh, continuous um, um, being with us uh, to make this course possible uh, should be acknowledged so I thank um, the drugs controller general of India dr. VJ Somani um, the, the joint drugs controller dr. K Bangaru Rajanji who had um, been very supportive to make this course come to you. I, uh, I, I would like to thank uh, sincerely Sri Asim Zahuji, who is the Deputy Drugs Controller, North Zone at CDSEO, who had worked with us continuously over a period of say one year or so. And majority of our lectures were actually recorded over weekends and holidays, which is very tough because all the regulators have a very hectic schedule and it's certainly not possible to do it to the, within their uh, fixed, uh, within their time period, or within, their, within their working times. So I thank uh, Asim Sahuji uh, for making this possible. He had taken a huge effort um, through working on the content part, revising that, reviewing that, um, engaging with us, um, working on all the feedbacks, coming back with a lot of new inputs and uh, making this course possible. So, and also the next speaker, the Sri Malay Mitraji, who happens to be the former Deputy Drugs Controller uh, from CDSU. He had also put a lot of effort in during the version one uh, of this course, and that's why how we carry forward the legacy of the courses in this version two. I also uh, acknowledge the efforts made by Sri A.B. Ramteke, who is the former Joint Drugs Controller at CDSU, and he happens to be the Consultant of Regulatory Affairs at CDSA. Uh, my team members, uh, Vandana Chawla and Jitendra, who had been uh, support when we do this recording. It's, it's a huge effort uh, at our end and we are a very small team of say two to three people. And uh, our CDSA office, uh, I also thank our management team, Professor Gagandeep Kang, Executive Director of THSTI, Professor Usha Menon, Strategy Lead um, of uh, CDSA and uh, Dr. Nitya Vadva. Uh, assistant Professor THSTI and faculty in charge of CDSA. There are various contributors who I would like to acknowledge. Sri Sudhakar Mayirpadi and Sri G. Kalyan Verma had contributed uh, to this uh, some of the lectures in this course. I also thank the NPTEL team who had been very prompt, very vigilant and very supportive, especially Ms. Bharti, um, Mr. Mahesh, Mr. Ms. Lakshmi from IIT Madras, the IIT Telly team where we did our majority of the recordings, Mr. Tanicha, Mr. Sanjay and Mr. Mahinder, uh, our entire CDSA training advisory team, all the tech members I deeply acknowledge and uh, this course ladies and gentlemen is because of the efforts uh, made by um, all the team members undoubtedly but this can only be successful if um, it makes a difference to you. So this course is designed for you and, uh, and all your feedback is what we can make us continually improve. So please share your feedback with us. Um, your small, small points um, help us to um, address this and make, make this course a version 3 or maybe the new course much better than what we were. We are learning and we are doing it ourselves. So um, that's it. So I request and I invite all of the learners who will who, are, who will be taking this course to please write to us about what you feedback us, what which lectures you found it interesting, which points which you, had, you thought were missing, maybe some areas we could have expressed more or maybe we could have some better case studies or something more exciting informations or any point, any specific topic you would like to hear from us. So uh, we look forward from hearing from you and continually improve. So I on behalf of my entire team, I welcome you on board to this course and wish you all a very happy learning. Thank you, Namaskar and Jai Hind.